Hey guys, what's going on? It is Summit Snake here from SummitSnake.com and TutorialZip.com, as you can tell from my new wallpaper. Um, basically, today I'm going to teach you guys how to run a program as a different user in Windows 7. Now, before I start this tutorial, I just want to make a quick announcement that I will be gone for YouTube, from YouTube until May 27th of 2010. The reason being is um, basically final exams are coming up and I got to start studying for those. I really have to pass um, theology class because I go to a Catholic school and I fucking, I fucking hate it and uh, I'm kind of failing theology right now and it's not like stories about God and everything. It's it's message messes up with your mind quite a bit and uh, this teacher's a let's just say a cunt. She had sex with the other teacher. I'm not gonna say their names, but um, I don't know how they're not fired yet. But anyway, enough for me talking about them let's get right to, to the tutorial so like I said before I'm gonna teach you how to run a program as a different oh my god freaking I gotta find a way to remove that again alright so sorry about that today I'm gonna teach you guys how to run a program as a different user in Windows 7 now what I mean by this is basically this will show you how to run a program as it was running from a different user account on your computer while you're still logged in to your user account at Windows 7. Now please note this will only affect the this instance of the program running so you can open multiple instances of this program as a different user per instance. So you can open up uh, like let's just say Google Chrome four times at, as different users when you're still logged into your main account. Now closing the program will end that program's instance running for that user. And please note right away, the, the user account that you want to run the program as, it must be password protected. So I only have one account on here, and that's my main account as you can tell. Um, so I'm just going to go to start, and I'm going to search create user account. Give it a time, there we go. Create an account, it will come up. Um, I'm going to name it tutorial zip, standard user or administrator, doesn't matter. I'm going to create the account. Okay, there's tutorial zip. I am going to set a password for it. So I'm just going to put YouTube, YouTube, password hints, balls. Um, <laughs> create password. Okay, there we go. We're done with that. I can just close it out of that. So now I'm going to go ahead and view my desktop icons. And I'm just going to go ahead and open up Merck. If you don't know what Merck is, it's a basically an IRC client. Uh, so once you have the shortcut um, or the .exe file, just go ahead and click on it. Hold Shift, right click, and then you'll see this, Run as Different User. Go ahead and click that. This will come up. Just type in that new username that you want to run in, Tutorial Zip. And password was what? YouTube? Yeah, YouTube. Okay, and give it a second, and it should be coming up right about now. Yep, there it is. Okay, there's Merck. Um, basically, yep, that's right. And the program has to be installed. I think it has to be installed on both um, accounts. I know, like, most of the time when you install a program, you, can, you have the option to set it to only install on your user account or have it installed to every single user account that you make or have in the future. So um, just be aware of that. Um, so there is Merck, and now that's basically how you open up as a different user. Now, here's the second part of the uh, tutorial, because I thought this tutorial was quite short. Now, the second part is, I'm going to teach you guys how to see what username a program is running as in Windows 7. So when you run, um, when you're using the run as different user option, um, then this will show you how to see what your username a program is running in as in Windows 7, basically. So as you can tell, I'm still logged into Nick's, my Nixcola account, my main account, and Merck is on uh, Tutorial Zip's account. So basically, I'm going to right click, I'm going to start the task manager, and uh, I'm going to the processes tabs. And since I opened up Merck, I'm going to look for Merck.exe, which is right there. Under username, you'll see Tutorial Zip. So that's basically it. I'm going to go ahead and end the process since I don't need it anymore. And there we go. Um, so that's basically it. That's a quick little tutorial for you guys. Um, hope you enjoyed. Hope to see you guys um, on the 27th. I will be streaming quite a bit on the summer. May almost every single day when I get a chance. But other than that, basically whenever I want, you know. 
all over the summer. So go ahead and rate this video. I mean, like this video, thumbs up that thing, comment, uh, subscribe if you have not, and um, also if you guys are planning on making a website, I highly suggest you check out tutorialzip.com. It will help you whatever you need to do. And if you want to choose HostGator as your website, um, use the coupon code tutorialzip right there, tutorialzip, and Basically, your setup fee will be, you'll only have to pay a cent. And the month monthly price would be, depending on the package, I know the cheapest package will probably be, what, like $5, $8 a month, very cheap, but HostGator is the where, where to go. But on that, I'm Summon Miss Nick and from SummonMissNick.com and TutorialZip from TutorialZip.com. And I'll see you guys in, uh, on May 27, 2010. See you later.